Welcome everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a week, two weeks, something like that. Um, but here I am. Here I am again. Um, I'm actually going to make, this is the first video. I'm going to make another one right after this. This is, uh, these two videos are going to be screen printing videos. Um, kind of, um, I don't know if you'd call it a review or a advice or kind of both. Review and advice. So this video is regarding emulsions. There's two emulsions that I use. Um, one emulsion is a little bit more difficult to use, and I, and I really wouldn't say difficult. This emulsion needs a power washer. So if you're just starting out, you don't have a power washer, don't order this emulsion. These emulsions both um, come from two separate companies. Um, both companies I recommend, um, one is ScreenPrinting.com, one is GSG. Um, both of them are amazing companies. I prefer ScreenPrinting.com over GSG. I am going to be ordering a piece of equipment from GSG. Like I said before, I'm still waiting on, um, you know, I'm still trying to locate an investor slash business partner for my screen printing shop. Um, but, you know, once that happens, I'm going to be doing probably 10, 15 videos um, in regarding to reviewing presses, exposure units, things like that. I'm probably going to have two exposure units. I'm not exactly sure yet. But, so, like I said, in this video, this is going to be about two um, emulsions that I do use. And I do stand behind these two emulsions extremely well. Uh, I love these emulsions, absolutely. Um, I prefer this emulsion over the other emulsion, which I'll show you here in a minute. This emulsion is W... BP hybrid emulsion. I just try to slow it down because I do kind of talk fast. Um, this emulsion you buy from ScreenPrinting.com. Uh, this emulsion you do need a piece of equipment that I didn't have at first and I almost went out of business because of it. Um, sorry, my phone's going off. I'm so sorry. Um, what it is is you need a power washer. So this emulsion and the other emulsion as well are two-stage emulsions. Um, you put the emulsion on the screen. Let me pull. This is emulsion. You put the emulsion on the screen. You let it air dry. And then you put your design on it and expose it in an exposure unit. You can use the sun. I've never tried it, but you can. I've seen videos where people do it. Um, but once you're done with this, this you have to have a power washer. And that's in my experience. I've heard people haven't had to have, you know, they haven't had to have one and I have a water hose with a jet sprayer on it still doesn't get this stuff off and that's just my experience you you know other people may have better experiences with this when I first got this stuff when I first changed over to this emulsion and this is a pink emulsion um, but it burns it prints extremely well it's probably the best emulsion that I've ever had but you need a power washer to reclaim your screen and that's my experience. Like I said, someone else may have a better experience than this. Um, but this stuff's amazing. I love this stuff. Um, now, a power washer. And if you guys want a video on the power washer that I use, I paid like $120 for mine. It's an, it's an electric power washer. I love this. I love my power washer. I absolutely love it. Um, it's, it's a 1700 PSI. Um, I'm not going to wash images out with it because I'm afraid I'll blast right through the emulsion and, and you know, break it apart in places that I don't. But this emulsion is really good. So if you need to try it, this stuff for a pint of this is 20 bucks, And this will and I'll, this will last about 8 to 10 screens depending on how thick I want my emulsion. Um, sorry, hey, it's just... Um, it's a great emulsion. Absolutely. Go to ScreenPrinting.com to find this emulsion. It's the one that's 20 bucks. Um, it's a fantastic emulsion, it's a two-stage emulsion, great emulsion. The second emulsion that I use, um, and I've been using this since I started screen printing, this emulsion, you do not have to use a power washer. Um, for a long time, I didn't have a power washer because I didn't need one, um, because this stuff works extremely well. Um, great, great emulsion. It's a dark blue color. Well, when you put the diazotone, I think I'm pronouncing that right, when you put the diazotone in, it'll, it'll turn like a like a light green, but once it exposes, it turns back to blue. Um, this stuff is awesome. I've actually switched back to it 
because you do not need a power washer. And I will link both of these descriptions down below. But if you're just starting screen printing, you're just starting, you know, you have your press or you're looking at buying a press, a flash dryer, exposure unit, some screens, some inks, some squeegees, things like that. Go with this stuff, GSG. Um, I actually link this stuff in the description. It's blue. It's also a two-stage motion. You, when you want to reclaim your screens, over a year I used a water hose with a spray jet, and this stuff washes right out. You may have a couple of dark spots in regard, you know, like where it's kind of built up, um, like you know, like when you take your scoop coater up and it builds up on the edges. Sometimes you may have to spray that a second time with emulsion stripper, um, but. I've never had an issue trying to get this stuff out. Never. I've never had an issue. Um, it lays well. It burns, you know, it burns well, and it reclaims extremely well. But you do not have to have a power washer with this stuff. And like I said, I'll link these both in the description. Um, this one is with ScreenPrinting.com. This one is with GSG. GSG is an awesome company as well. Um, I prefer ScreenPrinting.com over GSG. I am going to be getting a piece of equipment from GSG. It's an exposure unit just because it's a lot bigger. Um, I mean, you know, it's like $4,500 exposure unit. It's got legs and it's vacuum based. You know. Once I find an investor slash business partner, I'm going to, once I have bought all of my equipment, I'm going to give my experiences with the order process. Um, I'm going to do videos on each piece of equipment. So there's probably going to be, you know, there's going to be one main video and then there'll be a bunch of other videos. Um, but that is it for this video here. I, you know, I'm trying to cut these videos way back, um, because my watch time is not doing very well. So I'm going to cut this video here. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm about to make another video. Um, and you know, in regard to this one, let me put this one up. And I will absolutely uh, give you guys another video on another chemical that I use that I basically swear by. All right. See you guys in the next one.